Hello to everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to use the new version of the RPG Maker Auto Tiles in Portal for Unity 3D. Okay, let's begin with importing the package into a new empty project. I'm going to import just the important files that are the editor and the script folder so okay now I can go to the tools menu RPG maker importer auto tile you have two choice settings let you set the standard destination path for the generated sprite sheet and for the generated auto tiles. For now I leave that uh, uh, the default values. Then I'm going to click the importer. So in the drop down menu you can select the uh, image layout you want to slice. As you know, RPG Maker has a, a different uh, layout for the, va the, the various uh, auto tiles. And uh, in this case, I want to slice uh, an A1 layout Im image for the animation water. So I want to use this free image for this three animated tile for the waterfall and this for the decoration and I'll create these auto tiles using the standard path and as you can see they are generated here I have in the, the RTP import the I have the sprite sheet and the folder RTP auto tiles I have the generated auto tiles how can I use this? I have to go to window 2D tile palette and I'll dock this I have to create a new palette and I'm calling this test palette create I will create in the asset folder this is my palette so I have to go in the RTP auto tiles folder select the auto tiles that I want to import and just drag and drop I have to delete this and reposition that. Okay, so I have, I want to show you another choice. Select none. I want to save this water tile in a folder I want to specify. So it will ask you two folders. The the first one is for the sprite sheet. The second one is where to save the auto tiles. So now you have two more folders. In the sprite sheet you have the free sprite sheet for the three frame of the water animation and in the other folder you have the water auto tile that you can drag and drop in your palette so after the water import just select another files for the terrain and as you can see this file is uh, sliced with the wrong layout because it's a H2 full layout image 
and as you can see now you have all the terrain that are be slated correct so you can change the name i can call the this terrain zero and this terrain one and if i save this now in the standard folder i have terrain zero terrain one and the image will be named terrain zero and terrain one so now how can i use this terrain i have to go in my hierarchy create a time map and I can just start drawing and I can just use the terrain, the auto tile that I have just created. As you can see, Unity will add the, the correct image based on the network cells and I can create a map very quickly Oops. Wrong. so you can add order image outer auto tile you can load the slice as many tiles as you want this is an A4 for example but not the file I want to use is the other one I can find it I will use uh, this one I will use this and this generate now I have this one and this one. Oops. We'll add just some more details. just to show you something different so now if I, I hit play as you can see the water is animated you can control the speed of the animation of the water if you go in the inspector and in the water tiles in this case in the waterfall tile you have uh, animation speed if I oh, no multiple select if I change this value and it play again as you can see the animation of the water is uh, much faster I can do the same things with the water tire and as you can see it has a higher higher speed so this is just the basic to use the RPG maker auto tiles importer you can use another kind of image because if you don't have a full layout you can specify you can import a single terrain for example example I have single terrain this one is okay as you can see this 
is in the form of a single terrain. For the single animated water, you have to import uh, an, a file like this because uh, it has three frames. But you can use uh, RPG Maker XP water. RPG Maker XP version of the auto tile is a little bit different because you have an image with four frames one, two, three, four. So it's a little bit different. And the terrain too is an image a little bit different from the other RPG Maker layout files. The last files is the A5. The A5 layout for the RPG Maker is a file that has no auto tile, it's just plain block with no information about auto tiling. You can just slice them and save them. But if you go to the auto tiles folder, as you can see, these tiles has no information, no, no auto tiles. They are just plain sprite. You can put them inside of other auto tiles and the auto tiles will be adapted to the to the new information but uh, the A5 will not will not uh, have uh, such behavior there are more things that uh, I want to show you so before I have uh, generated this auto tile that uh, is compared to, to this animation that are water decoration. So if I use uh, these auto tiles in this empty space, uh, I have this uh, nice decoration. But if I want to put that uh, this leaf in top of the water, as you can see, they are going to replace the water auto tile. LPG Maker has uh, um, add, uh, out, an automatic uh, mechanism to handle more than one layer. In Unity you have uh, to create uh, another tile map like this. I will call this tile map 00, zero tile map 01 and in the palette right here like here, you have to specify which tile map you want to use as target. In this case, I want to use the tile map 01, and as you can see now, the, the leaf will be rendered on the tile map 01 and not 00, and f you can even specify a sorting, uh, a sorting order you can put the tile map on the order layer 0, the tile map 0, 01 in the sorting layer 0, 02, so they are rendered in a different order. And now, if I play, I will have the leaves on top of the water. There is another interesting thing that you can do. So, how can I specify that uh, my character, my hero, uh, can't walk on uh, water? Be well, I can do this specifying a collider. Unity has uh, a time map collider 2D. So, if I use this, as you can see, all the water, all the, 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 the map will have 
the collider but I don't want that I want that all just the tree will have a sprite collider the waterfall will have a sprite collider as the collider on the water no, not not the water the tree leaves and for the terrain I have no collider and just check if the water yes the water and sprite collider so if I select this one I have to remove the show grid okay now you can see it better now the water the waterfall the tree as a collider but the terrain will not have a collider so my character my hero can walk can move on this terrain without generate any collision you can change the type of collider using sprite grid in case you have uh, uh, in case you want a full grid collider or a collider based on the form of the of the image with uh, alpha, alpha channel like this one but that's uh, your your choice in base of uh, based on uh, your uh, project needs so this uh, is uh, the end of uh, the video thanks for watching and have fun